Thank you. Thanks. I didn't recognize my own son. <laughs> Not someone to bring home, a woman like that. I guess she's just that beautiful. You're the beautiful one. Thank you so much, Elena. She's so vulgar that no one notices her beauty. You know, two years ago, your father and I were convinced you would get married. The thing is, I was sure too, but, but, Kostya, Kostya just wasn't ready. Do you still feel something for him? Have you thought about resuming a relationship? I'm not insisting that you have to make the first move. It's just that his circumstances regarding the marriage have changed. Please understand me. I just really don't want Kostya to get married because of business. Of course not. I want feelings to be there. Yes. I think if you could just meet with him, spend time together, and at the same time, check if there's any feelings left. Alia, wait, we need to talk. I have nothing to talk to you about. Are you dating Kostya now? Sasha, hmm? go ahead. So you string me along forever, but you go straight to bed with him, right? He's not afraid of his mother to invite a girl home, and I'm not even talking about meeting the family. You met his family? You? Where was my head when I got involved with you? Thank God you got scared and ran away. Crap, Mom. Yes, hi, Mom. Need something? First, hello, Gosha. Second, why did you go to that girl's cafe twice yesterday? Are you following me again? How much longer, Mom? I'm not following. I'm worried about my son's financial security. Oh, you mean that? Uh... Yes, that. She just asked me to return a scarf. That was all. I didn't expect my son to be so naive. Careful. Ah, uh, don't you realize that this girl is looking for an excuse to see you? Fine, a scarf. But why did you go again last night? Uh, in the evening, I met Kostya. Kostya? What was he doing in that place? Uh, he invited me there. Hmm? He invited me. Okay, fine, the situation's pretty clear. If someone doesn't want it in a good way. Bye, son. Is this your first time? This is a nightmare. Damn, what's she planning? <sighs> so what? <sighs> Here's the deal. The guy Kostya was fighting with because of Alia is Gosha. No kidding. Yeah, 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 Gosha Skvartsov. The girl was dating him until last week. Then they broke up and she... Became the girlfriend of his friend. That's right. Interesting. No, but... No, but... If it... If it weren't for her child, I would be 100% sure that it was a conspiracy. A well-orchestrated conspiracy. But did you notice her reaction? Her reaction when it came to her son? But Mikhail, isn't her son an argument in favor of her being a temptress? Her motives are clear. No. No. This is something else. <sighs> okay. 
Let your men work with doubled energy. I want to know everything about this woman. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. It's getting interesting. Mom, look how beautiful it is. Yes, dear. So tell me what happened next. I don't want to. Tell me what's going on with you and Serhi. Oh, really? Well, I always call first. Where to go, when to go. He just agrees. Interesting. So tell me, you're Kostya. Does he figure out where you should go? The usual activities, movies, restaurants. We'll be breaking up soon. Oh, come on, he's a great guy. Does he have any quirks? Maybe in bed? What bed? It's just a woman with a child doesn't suit him. Wait, no, stop. What's wrong with you and Sasha? I'm not bad, I'm just not right for him. Dang, Alia, you're such a fool. You can tell from a mile away that he's crazy about you. You've made up a story and convinced yourself of it. Hello? Hi. Can we meet? You want to meet right now? <laughs> yeah, if you have time. Where? At the same cafe overlooking the city. Hello, Elena. Hi there. Am I too late? Of course not. Come on, they're waiting for you. Thank you. It hurts. Please sit <gasps> down. Hello, Elena. Oh my, it's been so long. Yes, hi, Ira. Indeed. We'll definitely have tea afterward. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, sure. This is my friend. <laughs> The usual for you? Uh, yes. Thank you. Well? You got what you wanted, what more do you want? Do you want me to be embarrassed forever? I didn't want that. Is that so? What about bad taste and manners? Did I dream all of that? I'm sorry I forgot to get a tattoo for your housekeeper. You don't understand how bad I feel, but I kept my word twice a fool. Is it really so terrible being my girlfriend? But I wasn't your girlfriend. I was a joke. Find yourself a real one, I can't do this. Me neither. Maybe I want this to be real. I thought your sense of humor was more subtle. That's not funny. These girls are just impudent. Once they get a hold of you, you just can't get rid of them. My Gosha can't get rid of one of them. It's already reached the police. It's a horror. I'm afraid that my Kostya has had the same thing happen to him. Oh, I don't know how she behaves at work, but I wouldn't keep a barista like that. Kostya's also dating a barista? Mm-hmm. Oh my, this is some kind of disaster. But no need to worry. I'll make trouble for her. Tomorrow she'll be looking for a new job and won't find one. No. We're just going to talk to ours. What are you talking about, Elena? Talking won't get you anywhere. 
Such matters must be solved radically. Radically. I'm waiting for you at Prague every day. What's not to understand? It's clear to me now. Alia... Every day is also now. That's it. He's waiting for you. Stop it. Mm. Wear your most beautiful dress. I don't want to do anything. Alia, don't be a bore. Come on. You're not going to leave me alone, are you? No. I'll stay with Sasha. Come on. You know, you're doing great. It's very nice and cozy here. I remember you always said that you wanted it to be like home. Thanks. I'm trying. I know that you don't waste time either. Two exhibitions in Europe. Three. Sorry. Listen, my father told me that you and your grandfather aren't doing so well right now. I'll be here for you and support you. Please don't be upset. So you've heard about my grandfather's marriage fantasies. It's nothing. Of course. I think we'll figure it out soon. The seat next to you, Kostya, wasn't free for long. Have you found a fiance? And me with a promotion? Three times a fool. You were so seriously against it that you wanted to remain free, unmarried. Is that gone now? My views have changed. So are you going to introduce her to me? What for? Are you afraid I'll be jealous? No, I just don't think I should introduce her to all my family and friends at once. Is that so? Okay, whatever you say. Of course, what if I see a smart and beautiful woman you traded me for and fall in love with you again? Christina. Good morning, Ayla. Good morning, Oleg. What happened? I just didn't sleep well, the usual for you. It seems to me that this gloomy face was provided by a young asshole. Why an asshole right away? Because only an asshole could spoil the mood of such a wonderful woman. It's just, the man showed his worst side. It's my own fault. You can't ever invent something for yourself. Build these air castles. Do you like him? I mean, do you really like him? Yeah. Does he like you? Women always know the truth. I thought he did. So... You just saw the person. A different angle. That's not so rare.
incredible as always. You know, Alia, all my life experience tells me that your story has a good ending. Goodbye. Thank you. Yeah. And our girl isn't stupid at all. However, the taste is a bit off. Hmm. Still, I don't think we need to talk to her. I think she's already shown us everything she could. No. At dinner, we were shown the show. And now I have the right to talk to her frankly. I want to understand what kind of relationship she has with our Kostya. And if this relationship is real. Besides, she was just the girlfriend of... Gosha Skmaritsov. Gosha? Wait, yesterday his mother told me that her son was being stalked by his ex-girlfriend. Really? Well, there you go. We need to watch Alia in her, how to say it, natural environment. Hi there. Do you mind? Of course. Please sit down. I wanted to meet you, Alia. Kostya always has so much to do. Yeah. And who are you? I'm Christina, Kostya's friend. A close friend. I see. It's a pleasure. Just imagine. I come home and they tell me that my boyfriend has not only found another woman, he's already introduced her to his family. I was so offended, so shocked. Well, thank God Kasha explained everything right away. Indeed, thank God. That Kasha is so proactive. Why did you come to see me? You know, I was worried that you might continue to deceive yourself. Oh, you don't have to worry about me. I never deceive myself. So you can fully own Kostya. Look, I understand that it's a shame. It's one thing when a man manipulates a girl in love, but when he does it because of a child, it's not right. He simply cannot do that. After all, no one has canceled women's solidarity. What do you mean by that? Well, why do you think he needs these gifts, these walks with your son? He never liked children. Do you know why we broke up? I had an abortion. I still regret it. I'm not as strong as you. I'm sorry. I still don't understand why you came to see me. I've already said that. Kasha and I have a purely business relationship. Good luck. I thought so. Oh, Kasha, it's good I ran into you. Hey. Is there anything you want to tell me, huh? I don't get it. Why did you and Alia start this game? Well, she's not even your type. <laughs> she has a kid. Are you really into her or what? Costa, she confessed her love to me a week ago, and now to you. Christina, didn't we just talk on the phone? Ooh, who's in a bad mood here? <laughs> I have some business to discuss. Can we talk? 
Can it wait till tomorrow? Well, what about your moto? Don't put off until tomorrow what is blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Fine. Where do you want to meet? Uh, since I'm inconveniencing you, I'll come to you in an hour. My house? Uh, isn't your place clean? <laughs> I don't believe it. Just don't be late. I have to get up early. Mm -hmm. Maybe you won't even go to bed. <laughs> Could you somehow hint to her that her behavior is not conducive to career growth? She could lose a very good position. I'll talk to her, and then I'll decide what to do about it. Okay, dear. Yes, we're closing early today, so... Oh, <laughs> I won't sit for long. Have a good day. Miss? Alia? Come here. Sit down. Please, sit down. I thought I made myself very clear with you when you almost ended up with the police. But it turns out you're not a very bright young lady. No, the problem will be resolved if you can explain to your not-so-smart son that I don't want to see or hear from him. But you've got a lot of nerve. Is it my Gosha who makes up all these ridiculous reasons to meet you? He doesn't make up anything. He just calls all the time and waits around my house. Now I understand who Elena was talking about. You set up here in a decent establishment to hunt rich men. You meet with two at once, you don't even hide it. Why should I hide it? This is why I came to work here. You're a cheap woman. That's okay, a few more like your foolish son and I'll be more expensive. Did you see that? Well, did you see it? Ira, I'll take care of it. I'll be grateful to you. So my mom hired you to design her house. Your mom has great taste. And we're not strangers, are we? She adores you. She saw us as the perfect couple. Well, I always thought so too. It's a pity you don't think so. I was in love with you, Christina. Don't start. You were in love, but apparently not enough. Yes. I didn't want to get married then. But now you've changed your mind. Thank you. Hi, Mom. Why are you calling so early? Honey, I wanted to warn you. Grandpa is going to talk to Alia today. He's taking me with him. <sighs> why? And why are you confronting me with this fact? Don't worry. I think she's already shown herself in all her glory. So when are you planning on talking with her? We're leaving right now. Hello? Kasia? I'm sorry, Mom. Uh... I gotta run. Yeah. Call me later. Bye. Here. Take it to my office.
It's all about this Alia. Alia, good morning. I think we should reconsider your work here. Uh, yes, of course. My fine establishment is not a place for hunting wealthy men. I won't allow it. You're fired. What are you looking at? Nothing to do? Just pick up the phone. You should go. I thought you were smarter than that. She's manipulating you. Stop it. You don't know anything about her. Do you know anything about her yourself? Do you know she's asked for money to get rid of you? I don't believe you. Let's end this conversation. You admire her and her child so much that you brought her into your family? That's none of your business. Alia is wonderful and she has a wonderful son, understand? I understand. So you love her, right? <laughs> and this is definitely not your concern. You're not thinking with your head. You should be. Maybe it's time I... thought not only with my head. These girls are nothing but trouble. Alia. Hi. I can't seem to get people to leave me alone. It's like a plague. Uh, what? I don't get it. You're Christina, Gosha, his mom, you. Could you all please leave me alone and don't you dare come near my son. You're no different from Gosha and Sasha's father. Actually, no, you're even worse. What happened? I was fired for seducing rich men, so thank you very much for our extremely beneficial deal. Why are you following me? Stop it. I did everything you asked me to do. So what did she do for you, grandson? <sighs> Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Mom. One minute. Please pretend one more time I'm begging you. I promise I'll fix everything. You disgust me, and there's no fixing it. She's upset. Was it all a lie? Did you play along with my cunning grandson in strengthening his inheritance rights. Did he promise a lot of money or protection in business? No, he promised to marry me. Grandpa, don't. It's a joke. I'm sorry. For God's sake. I never would have agreed to this if I had known Kostya had such a wonderful family, really. It was all my idea. Yes, who would have doubted it? Yes, I underestimated your cynicism. I'll draw my own conclusions, but I'm not talking to you right now. I'm talking to Ayla. She seems to me a rather nice lady. So I want to understand her reasons. I agreed to help your grandson because I really like him. And the most important thing that I saw in him was his desire to do what he loves, his favorite business. That's why I decided to help him. And of course, we are both to blame, and I apologize to you for this performance. How are you going to get out of this mess? I've been saving up for a year to study abroad. There's 
a great barista school in Florence. <laughs> I'm going to go there in a few days. Wait, 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 wait. What Florence? And Sasha? I didn't tell you about it because it was a rash decision, but now I've been fired, so it's all settled. Well, studying is... It's not bad. In this regard, I have one more question. Uh, do you plan to return to Costa after Italy? I'm not planning anything yet because uh, I'm going for six months, that's quite a long time, and our romance didn't last long. It was such a fast-paced affair. Yeah, so <laughs> the most honest thing to do would be not to guess anything, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we'll be going. Okay, enough for one day, but no more lies. I'm sorry again, goodbye. Yeah, listen. Kostya told me that you make great coffee. Maybe you could treat us, your potential relatives, huh? Come on. A great idea. We'll lead you follow. Of course, let's go. There we go. Yeah? Goodbye, thank you, bye. Alia. Alia. Alia, let's get Sasha and go out. I've already done everything you asked, so please leave us alone. And don't pretend to be interested in Sasha. But I never pretended, why would I? For me to help you? And why did you help? Did Christina really have an abortion? Uh, I don't know. That's her business. Why? Her business, not yours. Alia. Leave me alone. Christina? Hi. I'm glad to hear from you. What did you tell Alia? And don't lie. Why the details about the abortion you had when you were dating that other guy? I told her mine, she told me hers. I don't know what's in her head. We have differences in education. What education? That's not what we're talking about. Why did you meet with her? I wanted to meet her. For what? To understand how she's better than me and ruin what was beginning to happen between us. Listen, you don't understand how painful it is to watch how you treat her. You never treated me like that. Christina, our story is over. I have only good memories of you. I don't want them to go bad. Tell me what you told Aya. We can't stay friends if you're not honest. Okay, I'll tell you everything, but promise not to be offended. <laughs> Mom, I'm going to run. They're taking your girl away. Of course, run. Sash, hi. Hello. Alia, wait. Listen, I... I know that my mom had a hand in your firing and... Anyway, I fixed it. You? <laughs> Excuse me? Well, Mom, she sometimes goes overboard, but with you, she overdid it. So... You can go back to work, and they'll probably apologize to you. Wait. Are you sure you're Gosha? Where did you lose him? Gosha's here, right in front of you. He just finally realized that... that he ruined a good person's life. <sighs> Alia, sorry, really. Wow. Okay, we'll accept that. We parted ways peacefully. And your promotion is real. Thanks. But somehow it's not relevant anymore. I'm going to study in Italy. And maybe I'll stay there. Wait, what about Kostya? You were right about Kostya. 
He needed a bride for a few days, and he got her. So that's it. You introduced him to your son. That's a huge step for you. I wasn't going to introduce him to anyone. It just happened. Force majeure. You mean he ran too, yeah? Please excuse me. I have to go to my son. Bye. Gusto, what do you want? You won't even invite an old friend in? Old friends have been breaking into my house lately. What do you want? To talk. If it's about Alia... Of course about Alia. I may be a pig, but you used her. The kid really likes you. Have you no shame? <laughs> You're telling me, Gorsha. You know what? Go. I've had a hard day. I can't help myself. Then your mother will come to Prague to demand my firing. Alia loves you. Go to her and apologize. Or at least explain that you're afraid of her son. I wasn't afraid of her son. Christina said that. I already told her to explain herself to Alia. And what's stopping you? Alia's leaving. How can I ask her to stay after everything I've done? Ooh, how amazing and noble to let your beloved woman go for the sake of her career. Do you know she doesn't even have a passport? Excuse me. Gosha, you're having an acute attack of selfishness. Time for a major detox. wrong. Sorry, Mom. Hello? Hello, Ala. Ala. I can't hear anything. What's going on over there? Hello? Hello? What's going on? Hello, can you hear me? Where are you? Are you home? I'm at home. Don't go anywhere. I'm on my way. Why? Why are you on your way? To get you. And Sasha. Make your own specialty coffee. Are you worried? Oh my. <laughs> Hello, how could I not be? Would you like some champagne? Let's do it. Can you imagine? Last week they had the idea to celebrate everything together in Rome, or rather, the three of them. The main thing is that they're always in solidarity with their ideas. That's what it is. I'm so glad they made up with Christina. You know, me too. Even though we're not related, so I urge you to return to our <laughs> question. I think they'll be interested in another small family in the near future. It's okay. I'm patient, Olena. Patient. Hello? <clears throat> uh, is this seat taken? Sit down. I see they've organized the spot for the exes, yeah? Tell me about it. Maybe this is the loser's bench. You know, somehow I don't think it's possible to call you a loser. <laughs> Gosha, are you seducing me? Out of habit? Why? Is it that obvious? Not at all. Wow. <sighs> wow. <sighs> when are you going to propose to your Serhi? 
Sister, do you really think I'm a tomboy? <laughs> no, I'll wait for a beautiful gesture, something like yours. Don't do like I did. Alia, Mikhail wants to talk to you. Please leave us. Uh, oh, okay. Sasha, come. Alexandra, I want to remind you that Kostya became the crown prince only because of you. And you, princess, need a dowry. That's why I'm giving you Prague. It's my wedding present. Here, take it. Me? And Kostya? Oh, that won't do. I... no. Yes, it will. It will. The documents are all signed. There's no turning back. Oh, yeah? I have a condition. Ho, 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 ho. A condition. Well, then. The condition. I listen and obey. Let Prague have two owners. And who's the second? Me. The first one is Kasha. It's his business. It seems to me the right thing to do. Good point. There you are. What happened? Well, grandson, I congratulate you on making the right choice. Another inspection. Grandpa, how many times? <laughs> me? What inspection? After the ceremony, I'm waiting for you at Prague. Everything okay? He gave us a wedding present. He gave us Prague. Now we're the owners. <laughs> and no strings attached. Now I know exactly where the best coffee is in the city. and happily